Profiles in Klaviyo represent your customers. They're one of the main data objects in Klaviyo, and they contain valuable information about your customers and their behavior. In this video, we'll walk through how to create and update profiles via API. But first, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future developer resources like this. Let's hear from Michaela, who will show a live walkthrough of creating and updating a profile. Thanks, Jenny. To create and update my Klaviyo profile, I will use Klaviyo's API collection in Postman. Check out this video's description for instructions on how to fork Klaviyo's Postman collection. In order to create a profile via API, I will first need to create a private API key in Klaviyo, which will be used to securely authenticate the API request. In Klaviyo, click on your account name in the lower left-hand corner, then select Settings. Click API Keys, then Create Private API Key. The next step is to name your key and select the permissions for your API key. To create and update a profile, I will use the Create or Update Profile endpoint. And this endpoint's documentation shows that I need to give this API key right access to profiles so that it can be used to make changes to profiles in this Klaviyo account. Once you've named your key and selected appropriate permissions, click Create. You will only be able to view and copy this key once. Copy it to a secure location for future use. In Postman, add this key as a private key variable. Now that I've set up Postman to properly authenticate API calls, I will select the Create or Update Profile endpoint on the left. This is a server-side endpoint. There is also an equivalent client-side endpoint you could use if you wanted to make a client-side call. Check out our video on client and server-side API calls for more details on the difference between client and server-side API requests. The authorization and revision headers, request URL, and method are automatically populated by Klaviyo's Postman collection. The body of the API call is also pre-populated by the Postman collection, but for the purposes of this video, I will delete this and rebuild the body of the API call based on the information I want to send. To get started, let's navigate to the body param section of this endpoint's documentation. The data object is required, so I will add that to the API call body in Postman. Type profile is also required, so I will add that within the data object. I can skip over ID since I am not using a Klaviyo ID to identify customers. The attributes object is required. Within attributes, I need to include a profile identifier, which is what is used to identify a unique customer. The profile identifier will typically be either an email or a phone number and will be used to track all of this customer's information and activity. In this example, let's use email as the identifier. I'll input this customer's email address. Michaela at gmail.com. The rest of these attributes are optional and depend on what information you want to add to the profile you are creating. For this example, I want to add the customer's first name, city, and a custom profile property containing their favorite coffee flavor to help send targeted promotions based on their preferences. To add first name, I will include first underscore name with a value of Michaela. Next, I can see that city is within the location object, so I will nest city within the location object and give it a value of Boston. Finally, I will need to add any custom profile properties within the properties object. Here, I will add favorite coffee flavor with a value of vanilla. This is all the information I want to include, but as you can see, there are many additional fields listed here that you can include when creating a profile. Refer to the documentation for detailed information about all of the profile data you can include in this API call. Now that I've set up the body of my API call, I can click Send to make the Create or Update Profile API request. The 201 created status signifies that this call went through and created a new profile. This endpoint returns 201 if a new profile was created and 200 if an existing profile was updated. In Klaviyo, I can search my email address and see the profile we just created. 
first name, city, and favorite coffee flavor are all shown on this profile. We can use the same API endpoint to update an existing profile. In this example, I'm going to update the profile we just created. I will keep the same email address as the profile identifier and delete first name and city since I don't want to make any changes to these properties. This customer just provided updated information about their coffee preferences, so I will update their favorite coffee flavor to caramel. I'll also add another custom profile property indicating that this customer prefers dark roast coffee beans. Within the properties object, I'll add roast preference with a value of dark roast. Once I send this API call, I can see a 200 OK status, meaning the call went through and the profile was updated. When I refresh my profile in Klaviyo, we can see that favorite coffee flavor has been updated to caramel, roast preference has been added, and the previously set name and location properties have remained. Keep in mind that updating a profile will override pre-existing values, as we just saw with the favorite coffee flavor property. Use Clavio's Create or Update Profile API endpoint anytime you want to create a new profile or update an existing one. You can use this endpoint even if you don't know whether this profile already exists. The API will automatically either create a new one or update the existing one based on the email address or other identifier you provided. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more Clavio API tutorials. Plus, check out the description for links to the software and documentation we referenced in this video. Thanks for watching.